1969, and what a year this has been for the world. It's the year of transport as the Queen opened the London Underground Victoria Line. Concord took flight for the first time, and the Royal Mile opened the first steel-based thrilling coaster. Oh, and one last thing has happened too. This announcer finally gets to retire. <laughs> you thought it'd be the moon landings. Nah, mate, that was fake. Oh yeah, you guys, welcome to 1969. Nice. <laughs> so, hot off the hills of the western area last week, it's time for us to throw together another theme land. I mean, Disney are churning them out left, right and centre. Why can't we? The problem is, we've got very little land left that we can put anything into. So, we've purchased the land to the east of the park. Is it the east? I think it's the east. We're going to say it's the east. Okay, it's the east. So, rather nicely, a lovely chap named Anton has just put out a steel coaster into the world, which is now capable of some very steep and some very fast turns. And I mean, sure, we could put a man on the moon, but we can't make coasters go upside down yet. Seems legit, right? <laughs> <laughs> so this is what we've got. We are, as I said, at the east of the park. This is a new land that we're going to put in here. This is the coaster that is concerned. So it is the Schwarzkopf very first model that was put out. It is identical to Wildcat at Jolly Roger. It's like literally the same layout. It's probably not the same dimensions and stuff, but it is recognisable as that layout. And guys, this thing is going to need custom supporting and I don't want to play. <gasps> But this is how I pulled it together then. You've got the station. You've got this really weird like turn around. And I, it seems to be this is a deliberate shaping. I don't really know why it didn't just cut around here like the cheese case does. No idea. But anyway, we then go into this lift hill. Uh, just to let you know, by the way, I have used the Eurofighter track with the Invincible trains. It's the closest we're going to get. I'm not being a purist about it. Please don't be a purist about it. I don't care. I'm just going to delete you. It's as simple as that. <laughs> so it, it gives me what I want. Uh, so we come into the lift hill. It's set to 28 degrees, I think it is. Uh, and then it comes into its first turnaround. 45 degree drop. This is all they do. 45 degrees. There is nothing more to it than this um, and then it comes into a turnaround and as you can see this one coming down this way it goes underneath a uh, later track into a bit of a, 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 a like a curved drop if you like uh, then comes down into another drop into a bit of a helix down these helixes are so weird to shape like I haven't smoothed this yet by the way so this is proper jank <laughs> it's probably real to life uh, <laughs> but <laughs> these are so fun to uh, so fun to profile because you've got to sort of like keep it level here dip it down and then dip it back up again it's quite like yeah quite fun to profile then it comes into an airtime hill and it comes into this bit and that is literally just a final helix into the brake run I'm running three trains on this one I don't know whether it would run three or two to be fair um I'm running three, sod it, whatever, it is what it is. <laughs> and then this is the area that I'm pulling together. So you all spot, we've got a ride missing. It's not an RIP ride. It has actually just been put into storage. There it is. Uh, it is coming back, but I just don't know where I'm going to put it yet. Likewise with the Lupo plane. Um, I've decided to not retire it, but it's just gone for a bit of a holiday, a bit of a vacation. It's gone for a rest. So this is the area that I'm looking at develop. Two new developing two new rides. We have got got the teacups and a merry-go well it's a merry-go-round but it's not really a merry-go-round is it it's this it's this thing um and then i've got a couple of bits that i want so this is going to be a fairy tale castle style area so this is going to be the gate uh, the main gate that we're going to go in this is going to be like a fort bit and then this bit i'm going to talk about when we actually do the next update because this needs a bit of explaining so without further ado see you in a minute <laughs>
sometimes when I'm doing an update, I just sit and stare at a screen and think, what am I even going to say? And then I look back at the original reference images and yeah, there's quite a lot to talk about with this update. Let's be honest here. <laughs> this is looking very different to the field that you saw at the very beginning. So where do we even begin? Let's begin at the entrance, right? Because this is starting to come together. Of course, it needs a lot of touching up and a lot of detail work and it needs a lot of things doing to it, right? But this is just a placeholder of what I think I want this entrance area to be. And actually, I do want this to be like this. So what I've done is I've put lots of castle-y type stuff on here. Originally, I wanted the turrets to be the same width, but actually it was just too symmetrical. It was too uniform. So I ended up making this one slightly thicker dinner and there we've now got the four that are now looking quite a lot more castle. Ignore this floating one, by the way. I've moved that one because I was working on the inside of here so we could have the return of the Chacho Toilets. <laughs> it's been a while, guys. <laughs> like, I'm surprised none of you have actually noticed that we've been developing an entire theme park and not once have we put a toilet in since 1930. <laughs> it's overdue. So this is what we've got in here. Um, I've actually put, because I run the game and add as many guests as I can in there are, there is a shortage of toilets in accordance to the game so I've actually put in four toilets in this area there's two here uh, and there's also two this side as well so I what, what I wanted to do was to have this as male or female either side uh, and slight, kind of hidden by the actual gate the gatehouse bit here uh, I'm taking by the way a lot of visual clues or visual cues from Gardaland with this area because it's just the best well put together Camelot area that I could find that's achievable for the time scale that we're in given that Gardaland opened in 1975 and some of the buildings in Gardaland are actually original so when you go today they look as they did in 1975 so that kind of gives us a few like thumbs up to say yes you can design this way so that's what I'm doing here uh, and yeah I like it like it's turning out all right and then inside here I I think I'm gonna exclude it from the time lapse I don't think it bleeds into any of the other visuals but this had a cover at one point and no I didn't like it so I decided to make it bright colors <laughs> and remove the cover instead and actually there's an image floating around of what I think is Disney in 1960 it's like this it's just yellow yellow and blue so it's fine we'll we'll take it uh this building over here again Gardaland says hi it's a pretty much a direct rip i'm not even sorry i like it i stole it uh, the difference is underneath here are all grab and go units as opposed to an actual restaurant uh, underneath but this is what i wanted to do with this area and that's why i said it needed a little bit of explaining uh, because it probably wasn't in as much detail as i wanted it to be so uh because it's built into the side of a hill and the hill will be retained in the future updates i'm purposely leaving this area blank for a future update uh, it's not a dark ride but there's a future update that's coming that I'm leaving that blank for but because of that this is built into the side of a hill and so what I wanted to do is I didn't want it to sit on a hill with steps up and then it just be on a hill I actually wanted to make a thing of the frontage so got the garden land one presents the absolute perfect opportunity for us to be able to come down the hill have grab and go units underneath here uh, and then be able to walk up into this space and have a gift shop um again exactly the same as Gardenland. not even sorry so <laughs> inside here needs quite a bit of kitting out of course it does but uh yeah, it's it's going all right. It's it's going, and then inside here is going to be a uh, an internal restaurant, so uh, or an inside restaurant. Again, it's just using the same uh, using the same design cues as the gift shop is, just to keep it uh, just to keep it consistent. And the eagle-eyed amongst you will have spotted. Yes, the waterfall planters are back. Of course, they're back. Uh, the, it was needed. The it was too rough and ready around here to make any sense of it. And I do want this area to feel landscaped. I want it to feel like there's been some effort that's put into this area. So yes, the waterfall landscape uh, landscaping is coming back. Likewise, over here. I've put it in here too, um, and that's to hide all of this ugliness that we've got going on. I can't use path covers on this hill, so I need to find a way of hiding the, the edge and, and whatever, and that's the way you do it. Or that's the way I'm choosing to do it, waterfall planters. And besides, it makes it consistent with what we've got here as well. So we know that we're using them effectively elsewhere in the park. So it makes sense. It's it's consistent design. So let's talk about this coaster. So is it the, for the update, the best till last? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. But it looks very different, doesn't it? Custom supports. 
an absolute hostage situation. <laughs> I hate it, hate it, hate it, <laughs> but <laughs> it was worth it, like look at how different, uh, look at how different it looks, what I had to do was research the supporting mechanisms of the original um, Schwarzkopf and the original Arrows, I think they are, nowadays Pinfari, they all use the same support, the same support mechanisms and yeah, I've had to take a couple of creative liberties with it, there's a bit of creative license going on, um, but it does what it needs to do, it's relatively clear uh, in terms of clearance for the trains and stuff, so I'll take it, like, it looks right, it looks correct, it looks as it should from a distance. <sighs> Some of you purists are going to complain about it anyway. Some of you are going to dislike the video. Some of you are going to run sub because of it. And off you go. See you later. Um, <laughs> station then. Uh, yeah, I wanted something similar. Uh, not similar, sorry. I wanted something simple in this area. So this is what we're going for. Uh, it needed... I, I, at one point, it was going to be an open air station. Because these coasters wouldn't have much effort put to them. Put to them. But then that's the 2023 way of thinking. This is nine, 1969. <laughs> nice. Uh, so... We needed to make some kind of an effort, and that's what we're doing here. Minimal effort, but effort nonetheless. Uh, and actually, I quite, I quite like it. Of course, it needs like kitting out and stuff inside here, and it's, it's start. I've started with some of the station clutter and bits, but yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm all right with it. Once we get the path cover and stuff down to hide all of these unsightly bits, I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna look all right. And then, of course, we've just got this retaining wall along here just to hide uh, the brake run and make it a safe, a safe brake run and stuff. Um, and then also the other thing that I did was to flatten the terrain here because of course these coasters would have to be on flat land so there's an element of flatness that's required uh, in this in this area so I've just put the mud and stuff down and uh, yeah it now looks it now looks okay so in terms of landscaping and, and things I had a couple of gaps in the path now normally what I do is just cover it over with path cover and call it done right and have it as a big open area but actually I want landscape in this area so I want trees here um, I don't think this is going to be the only place I'm going to put it I'm toying with putting something here too but I just need to see how it's going to interact with the front of the building before I before I start it and of course we've got the waterfall uh, planters and stuff we've got to put in and the last thing to show you is just this originally it was going to be um uh, enclosed it was going to be indoors and then actually i realized that alton towers does this quite well with a courtyard so i decided to make it a courtyard instead uh, so that's what i've that's what i've got going on here i've tried to make it the inside of a castle taking some cues here from lisbon castle um because i've got some pictures from <laughs> from when i went so <laughs> i'm just taking some cues from in there and then i'm just going to put a um what they call it? Is it a pagoda? A pagoda um, in here, which is going to be basically a cover for some seating. And then just call it done. It doesn't need to be any more than that, as it turns out. So uh, it just needs lots of detailing on the outside because I can't leave it like that. <laughs> it's just, just, just no. Uh, just, just, just no. So this is how it's looking midpoint. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah, we'll take it. See you in a minute.
Oh, you guys. For an episode that's meant to be introducing the park's first proper thrill coaster in the form of Schwarzkopf, it hasn't really featured that much. So there she is, sitting pretty on the sight line. And yeah, the area's done for now. I mean, we've got some new additions to come in about five years' time because Troika and Enterprises are going to be invented very shortly. So that's kind of handy because there's something bothering me about this build. I'm not really sure what it is. I think it's because it's deliberately unfinished. I know exactly where they're going to be. And something else that kind of bothers me is my really poor choice of path cover. Look what happens when I zoom out too far. <laughs> we get these <laughs> lines. And I mean, that's because I've chosen the um, the castle bridge piece, the, the LOD, when you zoom out, just gets rid of the surface and you end up with the texture on the side. I'm going to need to go back and repave it, I think. Um, I mean, it's okay. Herringbone brick becomes fashionable in about 10, 15 years time. So <laughs> maybe we'll just do it as part of that. But yeah, this is the area. I like it. I do like it. We're going to start with the coaster because she's been really unloved and there she is the dragon yes oh, do you know what Schwarzkopf and um Pinfari and whatever they just oh, they just know how to do early day coasters don't they it just looks just looks right I have had to go and <laughs> clean up a couple of the supports by the way because because this is such a hostage situation to put in uh, I needed to like just get it done and get it out and then I realized there are a couple of stray supports particularly on the bends and stuff but yeah it rides as rough as it looks and it is great like it's perfect I love it I love it it's just so, so, so good. Uh, the queue line then is all done. I've just put loads and loads and loads of um, the fairy tale in-game theming stuff in. Like, I didn't want to go all out and do my own stuff. This is just perfect. This is all the rage in the 70s and 80s. Like, playgrounds would have had these and they would have been slides. So this kind of style is absolutely perfect for what I needed right here. And, uh, yeah, they're not triggered or anything. Uh, <laughs> my audience is triggered, but you, <laughs> you guys are. Uh, uh, but no, these aren't triggered. Uh, they just sit lovely there, and I think it's like really cool how it sits, uh, how it sits here. So, station-wise, let's talk about the station because I like it and I hate it. Uh, I think it's because it's really simple that I hate it because it's just. It's just mostly in-game stuff, uh, but it's effective. It's this I don't like. Oh, I wish we had rescalable objects. I really do. But hey, I'm working with what I've got. Can't complain. Uh, inside here, I've just kitted it out. Roof on, stuff. Doesn't need to be any more than this. It's a, it's a, an early short scoff coaster. If you look at all of the others around the world, they are really basic. And in fact, they don't even have covers. And if they do, they're probably tent covers. So <laughs> at least we made the effort. <laughs> and then uh, coming over this way with all the planters and stuff, um, I just made sure I've used loads and loads of color. This is exactly as I wanted this to be. In fact, Gardaland does it kind of well as well. Uh, but they use red and white and that's it. That's all they use. But I've decided to go for the same colors that I've used in all of the other planters. And then this is the Royal Gifts now sitting and making absolute sense. Yes. And then when you walk up inside here, really simple in here. I don't want it to be any more than this yet. It's going to need a redesign when we come to like the 90s and the noughties. Uh, so it's, uh, well, you know, when you get loads of new merchandise and whatever that you can uh, you can sell. But this is this is good for now. I like how this is like, come together with the the knights standing on on guard and the bits around it and the wood effect and the ramp down it it's got depth and it's got the depth that i absolutely wanted it to have so yes and then talking of depth and consistency uh, the restaurant is also the same now the 70s are coming so it's all about the, the beige and the brown <laughs> so there you go it's beige and brown uh, but this feels a little bit cold in here there's a couple of reasons um and i don't think i'm going to put it in the time lapse because i did all of the work in here and it looked better than it does now um and i had a game crash and i lost two hours worth of work and i'm just not minded to put it back because this build, much like the supports, has been a hostage situation. So I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy with how this is in here. It, it does what it needs to do. Um, it will probably get redone again shortly or touched up or whatever that may be. Um, yeah. So let's go over here to the actual main building. Because, yeah, I like this too. This was a bit of a... Is it going to work? Isn't it going to work? And I think it's just about cross the line of... Yeah, it works. Hang on, where's my camera? 
what am I attached to? There you go. Uh, yeah, it works. It's it's what I wanted it to be this side. And it's ugh, to start with, it, it's all the colours. And it was... Do you know what? I could spend ages ripping my builds apart. And every single time I go back and go, yeah, do you know what? It's actually pretty good. So I'm just going to shut up. I'm going to stop telling you that I don't like it. Because I'm going to come back in the future and say, yes, I do like it. <laughs> what I do like is how this area has now opened up. And how this whole gate sits on the sight line now it's got all of its clutter now it's got all of its stuff and the path has been opened and you can now walk in yes like yes i like it uh, by the way next episode is probably going to be controversial the lido's days are numbered that's all i'll say uh so 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 toilets wise i've done a bit of work in here too um i have put a wall or two along this side i wanted to enclose it now i have kept that atm that's hidden behind here and that's for game functional purposes that's not because i'm doing anything trick wise uh we haven't got atms yet they're not quite in the public domain um they're coming in the 70s so but i do need atms in the in the game because otherwise guests just wander around <laughs> but hey this is the this is the toilets this looks so 70s now with the wood and the metal paneling and the green and the and the and the white <sighs> yeah like hello 70s it's gonna need an update when it comes to the noughties but it's yeah <laughs> it's it's good as it is um then just some touching up work along the railway line here. Uh, oh, I just spotted that under the tunnel. That's... Oh, I wonder if I've done that when I've been... No, it can't be because that's got texture to it. Anyway, I'll go and fix that. Uh, so, yeah, this bit here just had work and stuff to it. I wanted this to be a concrete area. This feels like this might be a refuge area or um, it might be to do with the signal box and stuff. So it just felt like it needed to be concreted over. In reality, it's actually hiding some stuff I can't hide. So it's hiding it <laughs> hooray uh, and then coming back this way um oh yeah i just love it like let's actually walk through shall we because you see everything from up above and you've just done a 1960s tour from tejikam and this is what the area looks like when you walk through it oh, it's just full of color it's full of fairy tale it's full of stuff <laughs> But I like it. No, I like it. Um, and then the trees and stuff just sort of like dapple the area out with shade. I didn't want this to be a, a grand open area, not like some of the areas that we've got. So the, the park would have taken the opportunity to actually plant trees this time. So this is what we're going for here. Actual trees. And then in the courtyard foyer area, I think this is the bit that's bothering me, you know. I think this is just... I don't know. I just don't know, like, don't know, but I like inside. So what I did, I actually swapped out the main roof with the thatched roof because actually the inside of the courtyards would have had thatched roofing. So that's exactly what I did. Swap this bit out for a bit of wood because that's also what it would be. Um, and now I like how this courtyard has come about. I think it's because I like the color. The color is perfect um, and it doesn't need any more detailing than this it's it's exactly it's exactly as you get it and of course i'm pl already planning for what's going to be coming down the line when the car park is turned into the new entrance and there's going to be an access point down here so i'm starting to put all of that in that in now and again i think it's that that's making me feel a bit uneasy because i need to do this bit behind here however where the two enterprise and troika uh, rides are going to go up here what i've done is i've just fenced it off because this would be the boundary and then i've just put a couple of bits of the theming around just to sort of fill the area out kids and whatever can go up and play on the grass or whatever it's not restricted area or anything like that uh, so yeah this is pretty much how it is looking i mean i like how this has turned out i really do like it sits perfectly as it should do uh, it, <laughs> it makes the game stutter it's fine. <laughs> Mission. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> right, guys, thank you so much for getting to the end of the video. I really do appreciate it. As always, leave a like and a comment. And let me know what you think. Uh, otherwise, we're going to go for a ride. I think um, this is going to be a pretty rough ride. <laughs> but it's deliberate, so it's all cool. Thanks, guys. Have a good week. See you next week. Take care. Bye.